taking off from a base in Auckland, this New Zealand Air Force plane will help determine exactly the scale of the damage in Tonga. Saturday's eruption of an underwater volcano triggered a tsunami, battering the Pacific Islands with waves and covering them in ash. The disaster has disrupted communications, including phone and internet lines, making information scarce. Australia also sent a surveillance flight on Monday. This is a very challenging time. Communications are deeply, deeply affected uh, by the events of the volcanic eruption. It has been felt uh, in other parts of the region. In New Zealand, those with relatives in Tonga are growing restless, still without news from their loved ones. This woman was watching a family event online when the live stream cut out. Really, really sad. It's really sad to, um, to not know if they're OK. The Red Cross says up to 80,000 people could be affected by either the eruption or tsunami. Australia and New Zealand have pledged humanitarian aid. We know for sure that there will be a uh, need for clean water because of the uh, ash eruptions and uh, which really damage and causing lots of uh, uh, troubles to the water supplies in Tonga as most of the people collect water through uh, rain. The eruption was heard some 10,000 kilometres away in Alaska and tsunamis were triggered across the Pacific. In Peru, at least two people drowned in large waves and dozens of people required rescue from floodwaters.